Ah, hello. Didn't see you there. Welcome to Splat, the Splattastic new art show where we find crazy ways to play with creativity, go wild with paint, and explore lots of fun with art. My name's Aaron. Nice to meet you. Did you know you can make art out of absolutely anything? Old, used, or recycled objects that are just lying around your house, or even things that you find outside? Anywhere you look, you can find something to splatify. You'll be surprised with what you can find. Did you hear that? Oh, Tanisha, what was that? Oh, gosh, you don't want to go back there. Uh, what happened? Well, I was trying to practice making my gooey gungy gloop, but I don't think I did it right. Hey, I just had a great idea. Will you please help me? Let's go find Dr. Dodd in his science lab and see if he can help us. Hello, Dr. Dodd. Oh, hello there. We were wondering if you could help us with a little experiment. We want to make some gloop. However, we don't know how. Can you help us? Oh, gloop. I love gloop. Or as our scientists like to call it, buble. It's simple to make. All you need is a bowl, a spoon, some food colouring, some cornstarch and some water. First, take your bowl and put the corn flour in. Then make a little hole in the middle. Like this? Just like that. Now add your food colouring. Excellent. Now slowly start adding the water and mixing it with your hand. Don't worry adults, it washes out really easily. When it gets starts to get too hard, use a spoon just to finish it off. Excellent, then keep stirring until it gets a hard consistency when you stir. Oh, I think we're done over here. Excellent, and when you're done, just pour it on a tray like this. Fantastic, and that's how you make gloop. And then you can write your name and other things in it however you want. Thanks, Dr. Dodd. Now we can make gloop all the time, with adult supervision, of course. Oh my gosh, is that the time? I'd better be getting back. Bye! Bye! You can have endless fun with gloop. Dr. Dodd really knows his stuff. I wonder what else we could have fun with. Hmm. I just had an idea. Let's pop home quickly and get some supplies. Hey, come on in. You can find recycled objects wherever you look to make fantastic art and creations. Come on, let's look around the house and see what we can find. Make sure to clean out anything first before you use it. You'll be surprised at what you can find in the fridge. Let's have a look. Oh, here's an egg box. But, make sure you take out all the eggs first. And make sure you ask your guardian for permission to use it. Be sure to check your green recycling bin, as this is where most recycling is kept. Got a cardboard drinks holder, a cardboard box, and a plastic bottle. Look at all the stuff we managed to find. Isn't this fantastic? We've got a milk bottle, a plastic bottle, an egg carton, and some cardboard boxes. Let's get back to Erin and see what we can make. Hi, Erin. Look what we found. Oh, hi, Tanisha. That looks oh. great. Reckon I can make anything splat-tastic out of these bits and bobs? You sure can. Oh gosh, I've lost track of the time. I've got to go visit my friends at the post office and see what fantastic art people have sent us. Better fly.
Speaking of flying, have you ever heard the old saying, when pigs fly? Well, today, we are going to make that happen. We are going to make our piggy banks have magic wings to protect all your pocket money. It's Flattastic! Piggy banks are super simple to make. All you need is a bottle, an egg box, some card, some masking tape, a pen or pencil, some PVA glue, some paint, some newspaper and some scissors. Firstly, grab a plastic bottle like this two litre bottle we have here. Next, we need scissors to cut the bottle in half. To do this, you need to pinch the bottle and make a cut. You will need an adult for this. Now that you have two halves, slot them in together and tape them so they won't come apart. Pinch the bottle and cut a small rectangle. This is where our money is going to go. Be sure to get an adult to help you with this. Cut two rows out of an egg box and tape them to the bottom of the bottle with masking tape to hold them in place. These will be the legs. There we go. Nice and secure. Now for the really messy part with PVA glue, which we watered down to get more out of. It is a splatastic tip. Use an old newspaper and tear it into long strips and dip them in your glue to cover your bottle with. Make sure these pieces are lying flat. Once completely covered, it should end up looking like this. Now we get to paint it. You can either paint it with pink paint or mix red and white to get a pink colour. The more white you add, the lighter the pink paint will be. Mix it all together. And now use this to paint all around your pig. Now, while we wait for that to dry, let's make the tail and the ears. You will need card to draw the tail the way you want, like a spiral. You can draw it any way you want to. I'm going to make mine squiggly. There we go. Nice and curly. There we go. I made my ears and tail on the same piece of card. I drew small rectangles on the bottom, like so. This makes them easier to stick it to our pig. As this is a flying piggy bank, you can also make wings in a heart shape. Like so. Now back to the ears. You will need to fold the rectangle and cut two lines so it fans out. But also, don't forget to cut out the tail. Then you would glue them on and it should end up looking like this. The eyes can be made out of buttons or bottle tops, but we have these googly eyes to stick on, which makes it look more fun. But if you don't have any of them, you can also draw them on. Lastly, draw two lines on the lid for the snout and you'll be done. Try it yourself, your very own flying piggy bank. Now let's hope my money doesn't fly away. You hear that?
That sound means it's time for an adventure. Looks like I got back in the nick of time. Let's go visit our friends at school. We can have great fun going around the playground, collecting lots of bits and bobs to use to make photo frames. Come on, follow me. Hi guys, I'm here at school to see what we can find hiding in plain sight. Come on guys, let's go. Wow, look at all these sticks and twigs we found. Hmm, I wonder what splat-tastic creation we can make out of these. I know. Photo frames are super easy to make. All you need is some card that you can get from a recycled cereal box. Just cut it out and then cut a smaller shape inside. This is where the photo is going to go. Just like these ones, you can even make them different shapes and sizes. Then to make them extra special, we can use the twigs we found. Just use PVA glue to stick them down and create some really cool patterns. Once they've dried, you can paint them any colour you fancy, or just leave it how it is. It's completely up to you. Do be careful when pouring glue. It can cause a right mess. Gosh, these all look amazing. Great job, guys. Now you can hang them up and show off your creations. Quick, better get back to the studio and show Tanisha what we've made. Bye. how much fun you can have with stuff just found in your garden. This is a frame we made earlier. It looks super good, doesn't it? Hey, I look great. This frame would make a great present for my mum. You're right, and so easy to make. You can use anything. Twigs, rope, and even dry pasta. Wow, I can't believe it's that simple. Whenever you get great ideas, send a picture our way, and your art could appear right here on the telly on our very own splat screen. Just send it to PO61AB. We are super excited to see what you come up with. And remember, you can make anything out of recycled objects. Hey, Aaron, didn't you go to the post office earlier? Oh, Tanisha, you're right. Why don't we have a look and see what people have sent us? Now, this first picture is from Faye, age seven. And she's drawn us a lovely picture of a flower. And I do like the way she's added a beautiful border with red and blue paint. Look at this frog down here in the corner. Well done, Faye. That is a fantastic drawing. Wow, that's splat-tastic. The one I have here is from Kevin, age six, and he has drawn for us an egg. It looks like his breakfast, I think. Yeah. Oh, he's even put cracks in the egg. I do like the way he's added a shadow on the spoon. Kevin, that is very, very good. Oh, cool. And look at the toast. And finally, we have a picture from Josh, aged eight. Now, Josh has done a fantastic hand painting. He's imprinted his hand with blue paint and then folded the picture in half to create a symmetrical image. That's fantastic. It looks very complex. Look at this butterfly in the top. That's great. We can't wait to see what else you'll send us. Gosh, those were fun to look at. And if you ever get stuck for ideas, don't forget you can check out our website, www.splatart.co.uk, for more splatastic creations and instructions from the art we did today. So go on, try it for yourself. Try to create your own art from stuff you find lying around. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>